Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how we can build a Clickstream application using the Vaulty Collector and Apache Kafka. So the architecture we are going to use is this one. So we have like a bunch of users who are going to visit our website and then we are going to use JavaScript to collect some information like geolocation, browser, device, all those sorts of things and then send them to the Vaulty Collector using Avro Schema which is like JSON plus some types. And then we're going to push all those uh, events to a Kafka topic and finally consume those events in a Java application. So all of this is going to be in real time. So whatever like a user is going to visit our website, we're going to see the result and the information we have collected like immediately. <music> Alright, so I have created a GitHub repository containing all the information about the project. So as you can see the architecture diagram, but the most important thing is the setup of each part. So we need to set up the website, the Voltaic Collector, Apache Kafka, and finally the Java application. So let's proceed now and let's create our website. So I'm going to create a repository or a folder for this project. And I'm going to create it so inside this. So it's going to be called the Vaulty Collector with Apache Kafka and let's go inside it and I'm going to create also a folder for our website and I'm going to create index.html and also main.js and I'm going to go back and open all the projects in Sublime so here we have and the contents of those two files is going to be here so we just need to copy and paste and also for this main.js we can copy paste this content and I'm going to explain what's going on so I'm including a script here for a free tool which is going to give me the geolocation uh, about our users and so I need to have this function callback uh, which is going to give me back the information uh, containing all the geolocation and I'm writing here two uh, JavaScript functions the first is going to give me the browser information and the second operating system and I'm going to collect all those information I'm going to print them in the console so we can make sure they are working and also I've, after this we can send them to the Vaulty Collector server but right now we don't have uh, the Vaulty Collector installed yet so I'm going to go ahead and see if we can make sure this is working so i'm using like uh, uh like vpn here to not show my ip address so uh, here we can see that we got all the geolocation and the browser information operating system uh, as you can see here so uh the website is working good right now let's go back and and comment this and right now let's install the Vaulty Collector so I'm going to use this to download the Vaulty Collector it's going to take some couple of seconds and I need to unzip it yes yeah, so it is unzipped right now and uh, let me remove the tar file so yeah right now we have websites and the Vaulty Collector let's go inside the Vaulty collector inside com file and as we can see here we have the faulty and we need to create some configuration files here those three so let's proceed and let's create those three files second is going to be this avro schema and the final one is going to be the groovy about the content so we just need to copy this and uh, I'm going to explain everything in a moment so we're going to copy this here for the Avro schema this is the one let me copy again yeah so for the mapping So we can paste this. So let me explain what's going on. So in the Vaulty Collector com file, we need to specify the source, 
uh, specified mapping and the sync so the source is going to be the browser the mapping we need to map those two files the groovy and other schema and the sync is going to be kafka and we are going to push to a topic called tracking so let's fix this uh, path here so let me do pwd and uh, i'm going to copy this and uh, update this path here and also same here okay so we're all good here for our schema just the all the fields that we need to collect and uh, right now we can go and uh, run the vaulty let me make this uh, bigger and uh, let me go to the project side the vaulty and let me run this so there is like some issue let's see what issue is it's going to be in the path so yeah so we forgot this let's run it again okay so it's good it's it's working fine right now let's proceed and let's download apache kafka So it's going to take a couple of seconds also and we are going to unzip it. Yeah, so let's unzip Kafka and let's remove also the tar file. So yeah. So right now let's go inside this. I'm going to have um going to copy the the path to not repeat myself and also here and uh, I'm going to you can you can go ahead and uh, update the uh, uh, server property or zookeeper property uh, files but we are going to work with the default ones and right now let me just run uh, zookeeper and also we're going to run the kafka cluster and you can create the topic but uh, there is no reason to do it because the default collector is going to create it the first time we're going to load the the html page and uh, right now let's create the consumer using the kafka cli so just make sure uh, we're going to receive the information before go and download the job application. So we have just created the consumer and right now let's go ahead and so as we can see here we received those information. So it is not printed well because our, because Kafka uh, when it's going to receive the input, it's going to serialize them. Uh, it's going to be just zero and ones, and the consumer needs to deserialize them. So right now we're not um, passing the other schema, so uh, this is why we're not seeing those information printed well. So, but we know that things are working right now. Let me close this consumer, and we need to go ahead right now and download the java application so as you can see here we have the kafka consumer java application here in subfolder this is why i'm using svn to download just this subfolder and let's proceed so let me remove it because i've downloaded it in the wrong uh, file Okay, so let me go back here and repeat the same thing. Yeah, so right now we have here Kafka Consumer. So let's open this folder. 
and I'm going to open IntelliJ and I'm going to pass this Kafka consumer here and let's wait some couple of seconds until the dependencies are downloaded and uh, we can see the architecture of the this project so in the palm xml so it depends how i'm using our uh, kafka clients and avro because we're going to deal with avro i'm using longbook to just make the life easier and uh, json from google to just make and print the json in a prettier way and uh, of course this log4g and uh, the avro schema is the same one here uh, this is the log4g property this is the class of user information going to contain all those fields and uh, this is the Kafka consumer so first we have here the topic tracking bootstrap server is localhost 9092 and we need to set up this configuration information for Kafka and uh, then we are going to pull every 100 milliseconds and then I'm passing the schema which is our schema and uh, for each record I'm going to decode this and I'm going to print the information so let's just run this and let's see if we are going to get the information from the website so yeah it's running yeah so we got the last information and let's right now uh, do it again yeah so we received the second and let me go and change my location here to Netherlands and let me refresh and let's go here and yeah so it gives me it gives me France because this VPN is free so sometimes it's not working fine let's change it to Russia let's see and yeah so let's make a quick refresh let's go back and yeah we have Russia here so as you can see we made the whole you know, uh, click stream pipeline so we built a very simple website that's going to collect the information about each user and then send to the Vaulty collector using an average schema and then push to a Kafka topic called tracking and then we consume, consume the events in a Java application so this was like the tutorial for the day and thank you so much